Every year at the beginning of spring, thousands of people gather together in Boxburg, South Africa from all around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're all from Soweto. Sunning here. Pretoria. Napopa province. Centurion. Zambia. Amsterdam. Centum. They gather for the largest dance festival on the continent. And MTV was there to capture the crazy, the sexy and the cool of H2O 2014 Animal Instinct. From the biggest guns. I think it's important to have big guns. I think everyone here exercises a lot. Darkest chance. Ginger Glow, Caribbean Tan works great. All the way to the best moves. The dance moves out here, guys. We were on the hunt to find out what H2O is all about. It's all about the It's H2OMG, baby! H2OMG. this at home and to everybody that's out here at H2O with me. My name is Demuz Mabena, aka your favorite ball chick Boozy, bringing you a crazy party experience, MTV style, out in Boxburg at World Waters for H2O. But this show is going to be a little bit special. We are calling it H2OMG. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because I'm about to turn up right now. As a matter of fact, let me just get into the mood. I got my animal ears because it's animal instincts out here. I got my crazy, like my crazy party glasses that are going to glow in the dark at night if they actually sit on my face. But you know what? Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's like show OMG, baby! Woo! up with some of the coolest party people out here at a show right now i've got my girl zoe hi how are you doing good and you i'm good man a so animal instincts are you having I a like good time the animal. Oh, i'm loving it fantastic vibe good people yeah and have you been to a show before is it your first time yes i have i've seen avici and hardware i've been to ultra so obviously yeah so you know you know what goes down at a show yes it's very interesting very entertaining and Great people, good vibe. Well, I flew in from Amsterdam just for H2O. I flew in yesterday morning and I'm flying out Sunday night. I, it's, I, it's the best party in the world. I've been to Tomorrowland, I went for three days this year, and nothing beats H2O. Guys, H2O is the best jewel of the year in South Africa. It's the biggest jewel. Everybody here is having a great time. It's about having fun, it's about going crazy, go hard or go home. If you're coming here to be normal, why are you even here? Coming to H2O is one of the sickest shows I've been to. H2O is just where you party out, lose your minds. You bounce that ass. We are from Maputo. That's people from Maputo. And we are here only for killing this H2O. H2O. I love it so much, H2O. It's crazy. Yeah. Everyone is having a lot of fun. It's all about the experience, you know, just enjoying, have fun, and yeah, just make the best of it. Well, it's just partying and having the most fun that you can actually have. Just having the time of your life, that's it. No matter who you were. No matter who you were. Meeting more interesting characters out here at HCO Animal Instincts. Standing right now with like one of the craziest, most sexiest ladies I've seen. Carla, are you having a good time? I'm having an amazing time. Yeah. Been doing this since I was hitting the first HCO back in the 20s. Really? Yeah. How old are you now then, girl? I'm in my 30s, babe. Gone no. either way more than that. No ways. Your body is absolutely banging. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing? I love H2O, I love MTV, well, no way. That's, that's how he's doing. He loves H2O and he loves MTV. I haven't missed an H2O in three years. Dude, yeah, so you're a proper H2O yeah, fan? Yeah, H2O, H2O or nothing. And what's your favorite thing about H2O? Uh, all the wannabe bodybuilders. <laughs> We are 
are not calling this show H2OMG for nothing. Got some of these, hey, our brothers, man, just them all ready with their muscles and get out of the <laughs> We are out here and I'm trying to find the biggest muscles at H2O. Got a whole buffet of our brother. So I'm gonna start on this side. Can I measure your gun? I don't know. Okay, hey, can let me let me just can you flex for me? Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's 120. So that's the start. Contestant number two. Ooh, he's got nice eyes. Hi. Thanks. How are you? Good, thanks, Sal. Oh, what's your name? Travis. And where are you from, Travis? Benoni. Woo! Benoni that's in the house. Gotta love Benoni. I need you to just flex for me. Okay. Could you just flex? Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, she's out to adjust it. Out to adjust it. Okay. <laughs> A hundred and forty-three. A hundred and forty-three. So, Travis with the eyes is in the lead, ladies and gents. Okay, let's let's see you flex. Oh. Ooh. Okay, you. One thirty-six. One thirty-six. So close, Mr. Brother with the sexy tattoos. How are you? Good to you. I'm good. What's your name? Always good, Donovan. Donovan. And where are you from, Donovan? Victoria. Can you just flex for me, please, I beg? Hey, hey, Donovan. Hey, okay. Oh, Donovan, no! Oh, man, 125. But I think I'm gonna give you like 10 extra millimeters just for the tattoos. Just, just, just yeah, for the tattoos. Okay, so, I won't lie, Travis, it looks like you're the winner. Am I the winner? He's the winner. with me your favorite ball chick who's the outcha at h2o now for those of you who don't know it actually happens in boxburg a lot of you may think that nothing goes down in boxburg but these people might tell you different let's check out 10 things that you did not know about boxburg first of all we have the hottest chick slap in the world the best thing about boxburg is i'd say the women the airport is close by my friend lives in boxburg and it's like full of Afrikaans people, bruh. There's definitely a lot of Afrikaans people, a lot of Portuguese people. But everyone wears Tommy's all the time in Boxburg. What's cool about Boxburg? What isn't cool about Boxburg? What isn't cool about Boxburg? This is the best rave I've ever been to. This is better than Ultra. Boxburg is not dangerous. It's nice. There's a lot of pumped up cars. Yes, exhaust pumps. I love Boxburg. The best thing about Boxburg would be teasers and H2O. H2O. <laughs> it's quite common. It's not common if you all them, because I chose. Yeah, come here. Oh, yeah. We know how to step, like two step, where some people do country dancing, you know, so we're pretty good at that. And we can drink. The ladies can drink. It's about three minutes away from my house, and that's all I know. You know, at the end of the day, who wants to party for? Oh, you you know. want to party local?
ladies and gents, you are still out at the craziest party in Africa with me, your favorite ball chick, Lucy. It is a soul animal instance, and I am bringing you all the action. Now, I've spoken to all the people, I've spoken to some crazy people, but I want to know, is DJing really that difficult? Dude, you play CDs, you press a button, you hang out in VVIP, girls throw themselves at you, you're like 20,000 Rand for an hour. Why? Is it really that hard? I mean, if I have equipment, I could do it. Don't you think you can do it? Let's actually just find out. I think lately everyone thinks they can be a DJ. I think it's like the new craze. If you go onto Twitter, I'm a DJ, producer, or whatever. It's really hard. Like, if you want to be a proper DJ, you've got to put time, you've got to put work. Like, it's not like going up, cool, playing a few tracks and coming off. Our sets are, you know, worked out. We make sure everything's on cue, on time. So I think, you know, if you have passion and drive, you need to take that next level to become a proper DJ. You get your pros and your cons. So you get your groupies, you get your stalkers, and you just get those people that are that share that passion with you. Jeez, there's a lot of stalkers, especially like the fact that we're on 5FM. Wow, yeah, those DMs come through like all the time. Um, I think the best part about DJing is being up there with my partner, just having a good time and jamming, you know. And when you give that energy off to the crowd, you reciprocate it. And it's just like, there's no other feeling like that in the world. So that's why we do this. Still vibing out at one of the craziest parties that Africa has ever seen, ladies and gents. It is H2O Outra at Wild Waters in Boxburg. And I won't lie, when I came here, I thought it was just about the music and it was just about the people. And I'm discovering so many things along the way. One thing that I'm definitely picking up is the sexual energy outra. So many people are hooking up, picking each other up. And I want to know what lines are they using on one another. Let's check it out. All right, just a shout out to all the guys at the H2O. I just want to tell you a really nice pickup line, you know. Tell a girl, you've got something on your butt and that's my eyes. The worst pickup line I've heard is you have something on, on your butt, my eyes. The best pickup line I have ever heard is, um, wow, you're so beautiful. But then that's not a pickup line, it's just true. I like those legs. What time do they open? My best pickup line is, uh, yeah, that's a nice shit. Can I, t can I talk you out of it? You don't need a bodyguard, you need a booty guard. I was looking at this guy and he was warming his face up. So I asked him, why are you warming your face up? And he said, no, I'm preparing your seats. Say, so, aren't you finding it a bit dry at each show? And when you do come, um, if I can make it come with one finger, imagine what I could do with the whole hand. Hello, don't, Hello. don't you find H2O a bit dry? No, not really. Oh, okay. Well, it is water after all. Okay. okay. Your face be looking like McDonald's. Then get your ass over there. Because we love it. MTV Takeover at H2O's. What is H2O all about? You know, I think it's about a celebration of some of the best dance music we have in this country and um, some really great dance music from overseas as well. But, um, you know, it's definitely the biggest uh, dance party that we have that's homegrown, that it's not imported. And, um, you know, it's, it's a fantastic event. We are so privileged to have something like this in Africa and in South Africa. It's wonderful. What should you wear? This. <laughs> you should wear colorful stuff and um, yeah just anything you feel comfortable and you know no it's not a pretentious party I think it's literally about uh, just having a time so flat shoes for girls is always a winner I advise everyone to wear flat shoes don't wear heels you'll die here wear a bikini if you're a girl if you're a guy wear shorts don't wear jeans don't try to be cool um, wife beater Tommy's in a rosary I think standard procedure <laughs> <laughs> so. obviously everyone is wearing crop tops so I need a crop top trust me you will be in if you wear a crop top I'm just saying just saying what do we need to pack to come to H2O sunblock water and cigarettes you need to bring your makeup because this heat is not okay for anything you put on your face. It's really not okay. Money. You actually need nothing at H2O. Okay, the weirdest H2O essential. Uh, sounds kind of futuristic, but your cell phone GPS, I call this the turned up tracker. When you need to find someone, that's how 
you find them? GPA. The first thing you need is money to buy a drink and your cell phone just to stay connected to all your people and that's all. Bring wet wipes. Wet wipes. Hey guys, it's uh, Terry speaking here from H2O and we are doing the toilet report. So we're just waiting for one of our friends to come out and um, yeah, we're just hanging in just to check and see what's happening in there. Just hang on two seconds, we'll be about. Hang on, let's count it down. We'll go 10, Nine, nine eight, eight, seven, <laughs> six, six five, five, four, three. No, she's still busy. Three, two, two, one. one. <laughs> Yay! And that's Julie. <laughs> let's have a look and see what they look like. Yeah, look, I mean, I think it's fairly clean. So um, I rate what? Probably about three, maybe one and a half hours. And uh, that ain't gonna look like that. <laughs> Go to the beat, even. It's about that static move. Stop. Go. Okay. Now get it going again. Can you see? Yeah, man. Let's check out a collection of some of the most epic dance moves we've seen out here. And a lot of them just look like switching. But hey, it's H2O. Where do you think goes? to my ex is uh, you were right about her. The best thing you did was leave me because right now I'm having the best party of my Thank life. You. Thank you. Can I just tell you, you're not that big after all. Boy. Still having a crazy good time out here at H2O talking to some really cool party people. Guys, I'm having a good time. Yeah, man, I'm also having a good time. Well, you, you, you look like you're having fun. Namuzi, you look like you're having fun. I am having so much fun. Okay, if Namuzi's having fun, I'm having fun. And everybody's having fun. Everyone's having fun. Everybody's just having fun, man. Gotta love h -Soul. Now listen, h -Soul is all about the music. It's all about the people. It's all about the crazy fashion. And it's about the tans. So do you mind if I measure your tan? No, I don't mind. Okay. Hmm. Soft almond. <laughs> we gotta go on the lighter side for you. I'm a yellow bone, you know. We can be yellow all day. I know you wanna be a yellow bone, babe, but your your colour is treacle tart. Treacle tart? Yeah. How am I supposed to make a chicken and say, I know what's up, I'm treacle tart. Nigerian sand. Auburn Falls. Auburn Falls. There it is. Jamaican bronze. Yeah. like some really proper orange like we have to find a good tan we need to find a really really good tan hmm. you are saying you think you're almost black literally almost black babe i really think that's a good vibe you're not gonna find me on this thing because i've got a unique no vibe. there it is next to jewels oh yeah next to jewels next to jewels that's me babe. and i feel like you've got some really nice next to jewels implants my babe 
fabulous. Can I feel them? Yeah, you can. Now, I'm supposed to use these things to measure people's tans, but I might just, I might need to use it as a fan right about now, hanging out with some of the hottest guys at a show. And you guys go by the name of the Mad Scientists, right? Yes, we are. Well, this is the, this is a four of the athletes from Team Mad Scientists. Pretty much it's a, a, a brilliant group of aesthetic individuals that are literally currently dominating the fitness environment. How many packs, like, do we have out here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Woo! Incredible. Absolutely f***ing crazy. A show in three words. It's our job. Sickest party ever. Unbelievably incredible party. I encourage the youth. I encourage the youth to come experience this. It's crazy. Pretty f***ing awesome. The f***ing here. I love this place. Amazing. I don't remember. 